It's um, Shabbat on Friday. So who do you who do you interact with when you Skype with people? Like just like for example, if you are in in the, in the America or mm -hmm. somewhere around outside this community, if you want to chat with the, the executive committee or if you want to say hello, you oh, so you, you guys can do meetings. Wow, that's yeah, excellent. Yeah, it's not like you know, it's not like that. Uh, we are not apart from the IP technology. We use this kind of things to have a meeting. For example, there are the, the community members from mm -hmm. America, and you know, if they want to chat with the, this one or if they want to pass a greeting to this congregation, they can use this Skype. We don't have a connection also, though it is not that much big synagogue and organization. It's like we're trying very hard to strengthen our movement. It's really great because in um, Israel there's a thought that Ethiopian Jews are people who just herd livestock and that they cannot integrate into Israel society. So this is great. Like You know, the secret behind that we bought this synagogue by ourselves is just to confirm that we do have the capacity to build our own. That's a good, that, that's a sentiment. Yeah. We don't have the capacity. We can integrate to any things in the world. You know, I'm a, I'm a technical person, you know that. Yes. There are many who can work this one. This is also you know, made from the community, you know that. This is Halakaba. This is Halakaba. Mm -hmm. uh, this is Dirty uh, Four. This is Halakaba for the matzah, you know matzah? Yeah, Tradition of course. Tradition matzah for our community. Mm -hmm. This is a cover for the matzah. Did you take the picture? Um, I'm actually recording, ah. because I do a lot, I'm doing video as well, and that I will edit together. Yeah, and also the, I was the one who gave a comment for this one, mm -hmm. to, to paint like the flag of Israel. Right. And this is the blue, and this is the white, and it's like that. We, we, we do feel that we have to connect with the Israeli people, not by worshipping, but also painting our walls also. That right. this is the house of God, that this is the house of Israel, so that we paint our city like this. And also the color of the curtains, mm -hmm. you know, we choose it from the uh, Torah. Mm -hmm. found the color of the the curtain that we use this one but you know we take this one because for the Rosh Hashanah mm -hmm. we have to wash this one because it get dirty mm -hmm. so that we will take to the laundry this one and we will wash it and then after the new year we will, we will join the new year with the new spirit and with the new clothes that's all thank you that's great and now you actually have missionaries Going to Uganda, you know, yeah. like these are also the well, Ugandan, you know, Ugandan is going to work in UK and yeah. Nigerians. <laughs> I've even seen a television program. They even did a Alice? television program uh, in UK yeah. this year. That was made here? Huh? Three. Yeah. This was made here too? Yeah. Wow. I can't remember why they said, you know, we, we don't use, most of the time, we don't use the, you know, we don't use the product from, from other, uh, other communities. We, we, we made by ourselves. This one is made from the community. This code is a fundamental, uh, you know, to the, our identity because, you know, as uh, in, every, in other Jewish community, they use a wine for the Shabbat. Yeah. But we used a lot traditional uh, yeah. wine yeah. for the ceremony, and everybody will bring their own uh, Allah and they put here, uh -huh. and then they will share it through this uh, cup. Very interesting. Through this cup, and yeah. it's I all made from the community. I was in a house this morning being offered Tala. Yeah, I did. I stopped to see George. <laughs> 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 the traditional beer.
Ah, okay. okay. This is the thing. Made. Uh, like it's made from uh, not like the uh, the honey. Mm -hmm. It's made from them. some seeds. What's that? Like barley. Grains. Mm. Grain. Yeah. Barley. Yeah. Barley. Come barley and, and uh, you know maror. 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 That we use in on pesa. Yes. The yes. Intern. There is a, a plant mm -hmm. which seems like maror, mm -hmm. and we use that. Uh, Plant for the for the making tala. Why this. do you use tala and not tej? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a fair question. <laughs> <laughs> and somebody who likes one but not the other. My friend explains you. The house we were takes time. Tej takes time. It tells easier to yeah. me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. My host this morning, who's a guy called Ted Asphal, he. It, it, when it, it, it tried to persuade my wife, but my wife is off out the whole time. Secrets in the dark. Not this. Since the, you know, the, since Adi was born. Right. So yeah. right. But in the, in the, there are also in the north, Shaw, 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 there are a signet uh, synagogues around uh, more than 400. In I've read, I, you're now jogging my memory, and I have read something about that so far. Yeah. yeah, I can't think where. So, are, is it the same style synagogues in, near Gondar? In the, in the Gondar, you know, they, they really modified. But in the ancient time, mm. it's like the same. But okay. now they, they put the Star of David on the mm. top of the synagogue, like we did. Mm -hmm. And but in the ancient time, mm -hmm. it was the same like, because we came from Gonda, we migrated right. from Gonda. So your, the, the secret synagogues here are, are kind of, in a way, more ancient than the ones in Gonda, because the Gondar ones changed? Yeah, so. but you know, here in Addis, it's like, you know, it's a city of capital, so people are changing, yeah. and then they're trying to change the, the appearance of the synagogue. But mm. in the North Shore, it's quite ancient. Where is the North Shore? You're where yeah. you're going through tomorrow, really, off, off, off the Bahada Road, yeah, off yeah. the Hojam Road, to yeah. the right, yeah? yeah, to the east. For example, the, after you went to, to the north, 115 kilometers, mm. 15 kilometers, there is a city called Fiche. Uh, Fiche. Yeah, Fiche. 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 Mm -hmm. There is a big uh, secret synagogue, which is uh, everybody knows. Mm -hmm. Fiche is just off the main road now, to the right, the road used to go through it. Is, is that synagogue only open on Shabbat? Or there are I? also elders who live there, mm -hmm. but uh, it's only open for the member of the community mm -hmm. because there was uh, very many massacres due to it was open, and the Christians were frequently attacking them, mm -hmm. and it's quite close. Then they, they, the, the elders, really knows who we are, mm -hmm. like you know, because the community is is made up of like uh, during the migration time, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it was seven elders. Mm -hmm. Like the great elders, mm -hmm. and uh, they know the high, the heredity because you know, the elders know that who I am and who is the son of me. Mm -hmm. And then, when I tell them that I'm the son of Gazan, they know that uh, my grandfather sent the like. So wow! They can identify you. They can let you in. Mm -hmm. This is their mechanism to control and to protect mm -hmm. the secret to, and also transfer the. Generation history to our. Which is, is just after Debra Is that right? Yeah, yeah, after yeah, Debra yeah. 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 And also, there are uh, uh, community member in Merabit. Merabit is uh, before Fuche, and you you will turn to the to the right, mm -hmm. and you will, you will go to uh, 80 kilometers, and then you will arrive to Merabit. It's like uh, Northern Shaw, not, more, not uh, far from maybe 150, like, or 200 kilometers. In, in the Emperor's time, Shoa was one of the major provinces, as the new government chose to, if you like, split it, you know, and, mm. um, because of this thing of Amhara land for the Amharas and Tigri, for the Tigrinians, and so the, the regions are more ethnic-based now, where, you know. But really, as soon as you leave Addis, you're into Shoa, aren't you? Addis, yeah. is, Addis, is, Addis in, is also in Shoa. Yeah, Addis is in Shoa. Mm -hmm. But, you know, the seat for the King Menilik, you know, King Menilik, yeah. who fought for Adwa, mm. uh, his capital was in Ankober, and our community also do have a secret synagogue there. 
Mm -hmm. I went there before three years ago to attend the ceremony. It was like, you know, people know that we were from the Beta Israeli community. And when I tell to the inhabitants, the, to the normal inhabitants, you know, to ask them that, where are the, these people, my people? And they say that, you are Falasha. Ah, that's good. They are living over there. And I went there from the main road of Ankova to that synagogue, to the sacred synagogue, three hours by walk. Wow. It was a full, fully desert place and so there was, was down, malaria. Yeah, down, 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 yeah, down to Ankova. Down to Ankova. Menelik was the king of Shur before he became emperor of mm -hmm. the whole country and before he unified the country. Mm -hmm. He was actually you know, the king of, of Shur province. Wasn't he? And they were uh, great servants of the king Menelik because, you know, many of our uh, family members, you know, during the, the, the war and before that also, since uh, our communities are known by the handicrafts and blacksmiths, mm -hmm. we were the contributor for all war victories because you know we made the spear we made the sword we made everything because you know it's very known our communities was very known by these products mm -hmm. and we contribute a lot but you know you know that you know in, in europe in everywhere also jews contribute something to the world right and we try a lot to contribute something to this country and our brothers and sisters contribute to other countries and it was like that. That's why we concentrate on on Angkor, which was a capital. Before, as he told you, he was a Shuan king king during that time, and they were serving him. And then after he came to Addis, we came together, and we live here mm -hmm. in Gachani. So Gachani is one of the the first or the early town after Ndoto in, during Addis Ababa's establishment. That's, we, that's why we came here. Ankaba was the last capital. The last, when they were moving around one, you know, from this place to this place to this mm -hmm. place, the capital Ankaba was the last of the moving capitals, if you like, before they you know, settled here. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd love for uh, somebody to go to these synagogues, the secret synagogue, and post some pictures on the website so other people know, like the uniqueness. You know, while we were discussing with the elders, mm -hmm. I took many of the uh, American Jewish community, mm -hmm. maybe more than 50, 50, one mm -hmm. five. I, I told you that the organization is called Kulano. Right. In the board committee, I took them to the secret synagogue. They had a great discussion with them, just to, you know, you know, still there is a problem because our community, you know, as a community, we don't have a Jewish burial ground. So we use the Christian's burial ground. Mm -hmm. But in the sacred synagogue, there is a, there is a, a Jewish cemetery there inside for the elders only. Mm -hmm. For example, my my grandpa mm -hmm. he buried there, mm. and his uh, grandmother also she buried there, and this is a custom. Mm. But for the normal inhabitants, since we are living here, mm -hmm. and the Christian also, they owned all the burial grounds, so we use their burial ground. Mm -hmm. So, when the Jewish community who are strong, very strong, when they came to when they came here to for a visit, we asked them that we need a burial ground, we need a Jewish yeshiva college, we need a, a school for kids, just to give them because you know I, I I told you that there is only one elementary school for more than eighty thousand people who are living in Gachani. We have mm -hmm. more than eighty thousand. Here in Gachani. Because mm -hmm. there's only one school, most kids here are. Okay. So how many kids in the, in the one elementary school? We don't have the data. <laughs> we don't have exactly data. No. So I, I, I don't want to be crude. So, no, no. so is, it, is it one of these schools where the government pays part of the teachers' wages and the community yes. has to raise the other? Yes. Yeah, so but if you go to the countryside, the teachers won't uh, get to that uh, community because they're afraid of the evil eye and kind of that one. So they refuse to teach yeah, the yeah. kids from this community. Yeah. So it's difficult to recruit. Yeah, discrimination people. is yeah. Uh, still. Yeah, yeah. Because you can't force the teacher to teach the kids from this community because the teachers are afraid of the <laughs> prestigious outlooks. Mm -hmm. I, I can be the witness. I, I have been to my mother's village in Fiche, mm -hmm. very near to Fiche, and the 
there, there, there was a, a leader work for the people from my community and they construct a village, a small village mm -hmm. and they also construct a school by themselves that the government can't assign the teachers because the teachers were afraid of giving a lesson or a teaching class for their kids because <laughs> they, they feel that they fear that the people from uh, kids are evil eyes so that's the secret behind the illiteracy level is increased in our community. Mm. So we always ask and also we, we try to post our problems on our website that if there is any Jewish community or anybody who is positive to, to expand the education level in the world, we are very open. We need that support mm -hmm. because the only means to defeat poverty is education. I do believe with that. The only means. Yeah, yeah most people would agree with you. Yeah. So yeah. that's why we fight a lot for this community. Right? Let's, why, why don't you open a school for, a community, for our community? Why don't you construct a healthy center for our community? We always shout on that. I thought there was like a health center where you can get free medicine, yeah, medical aid here. Yeah, they are Jewish, right? You know that. Yeah. They are Jewish. But the government does not. Not. Does not take care of this community. No. Because the, for this community, there is no health center. But the, doesn't the government kind of not take care of a lot of people here? I mean, there are so many beggar kids in the streets. It seems like it's just the state of the nation is that very few people get it. But... The illiteracy level is very high. Even the HIV and the AIDS, because it's like I, I told you that education is the best way to defend ourselves. Mm -hmm. Education is the best way to liberate ourselves from mental slavery. I do feel with that. Mm -hmm. So if they are not educated, they are very, you know, they are very with, you know, attacked with the problems, healthy and social and economical problems. So actually, I don't have. The exact data mm -hmm. that HIV level, the HIV victims, and the orphans also is increasing. Mm -hmm. We're trying to we're trying to present this issue. And we're trying to do something better for the community members. And of, of, of the of the community of eighty thousand, as you call it, in Kenya, how many of those are, are, if you like, practicing Jewish, the Jewish faith? Let me put it this way, because I still I, I you know for for my, my for my figure in, yeah. in Judaism for the elders I divide the Jewish exercise into two groups, the youngster like me and the, like him, we are trying to you know, exercise Judaism openly. Yeah. We 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 don't want to fear any anybody. We want to exercise freely. Yeah. So with this exercise. There are four synagogues, two of them are the J4J, mm. and two of them are for pure Judaism. And for the rest of the communities, they exercise Judaism covertly. Right. It's, like, right. it's like they, ex they, they pretend like a Christians outwardly because yeah. they don't have a, a burial ground rights. Yeah. So they, they, they pretend like a Christians, but they exercise Judaism. Mm -hmm. in the sacred monastery. So I, I, I don't think that, you know, there are, I, actually, there are Christians who convert to Christianity in mm -hmm. the community, but they are not that much. Mm -hmm. Most of the members of the community, always they celebrate Shabbat, mm -hmm. always. And the ladies, they went to the ministerial hut, which is found in the sacred monasteries mm -hmm. for the purification, every man's. Mm -hmm which is purely a Judaic custom, and also circumcision, and great festivals of Jewish. Every people in the community went to the sacred synagogue for such festivals. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, the, 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 the reality which is happening in our community. Mm -hmm. Because it's yes. uh, part of Judaism custom. So mm -hmm. they are afraid of the burial ground, right? So then, What's gonna ha What's gonna happen if they if we claim so? So, till we uh, achieve our targets of having a burial ground and other problem, 
problems, they, the, the people and the members of this community try to pretend outwardly, inwardly, they are freely Jewish, pure Jewish. Mm -hmm. The song that you heard on Shabbat also from the sacred monastery, some of them, mm -hmm. though he's uh, the decent singer of the community. Mm -hmm. And uh, he had a solo actually. He had a solo, he recapped the solo. Really? That I told you, the girl from Israel yeah. who lived in, in Mumbai for the Indian Jewish community, mm -hmm. she recapped it. And I hope she's gonna give us uh, the copy of the CD. And we'll s we hope that we'll have uh, great income with the songs by selling the song to the other Jewish community. We're trying our best. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I saw the catch and the catch me Potter. So it seems like you guys export a lot of. You know, there's a lot of industry in this area. Where yeah. is the pottery you went to? This is the one on the Amber Road. Yeah, it's just up up here, not too far. But you know, most of the exporters are not this community. Mm. So that's the main problem. We're trying to to set up a channel mm -hmm. that. There is no inside brokers, only the community members and the buyers, the real buyers, can exchange mm. market. That's what we, we are trying. But there are many brokers inside mm -hmm. with this uh, potter market mm. and also weavers mm. and blacksmiths and leaders also. Mm -hmm. But with the help of Hashem, I think we, we will try our best to minimize the number of brokers inside with this market. Mm -hmm. We will try. Mm. That's why, you know, they say that there are many exporters, but the exporters are not from this community. Exactly. They are very rich because this is a, a good industry. Mm -hmm. But the real the workers can't get a good benefit from that. <coughs> mm -hmm. The brokers are very rich with this market. I see. So, you know, this is a natural fact, actually. The brokers are very rich in everywhere. Mm -hmm. And we will fight them with the help of Hashem. <laughs> so, but is there still a big issue as far as trying to get out of, like, um, having acceptance of the world jury? Uh, having ability to go to Israel, is there a big problem with that? The big problem is, you know, that in, in Israel, mm -hmm. you know, the, the area from Africa, from mm -hmm. Ethiopia, and the area from other continent mm -hmm. is quite different. Mm -hmm. the, the, politicians, mm -hmm. the politicians think that the area from Africa is like mass area, and some of the politicians think that the Ethiopian Jews are not real Jews. They are seeking to live in Israel for economic freedom. So we are trying to convince them by constructing our own synagogue, by constructing our strong Jewish community, and then for sure, not Hashem, but the Israel politicians will accept us. Mm -hmm. But as a Jew, they know that. I, I do have a, a evidence.